hero. So this is really scary for the side of S2G. What I'm pulled out of the pit or put to the side. So you really got to dedicate it. You really got to know. Oh, we do have that uh, Phantom Steve mm -hmm. is out. Turtle is down to about 10%. Whoa. Big pop-up lands onto Twisted Minds. Begin finds a kill onto Mike. Turtle is still out there fighting. <laughs> and Soda actually able to pick up the turtle. So they do, uh, S2G do find a kill and they are still continuing on. Twisted Minds kind of forcing in there. Soda in a little bit of trouble here. Doesn't have his mortal coil. Oh, he's going to use that to go ahead and get over the wall. Lunar chasing him down. Begin comes in with what? a flicker. Is that going to be it? And Soda goes down. Lunar picking up the kill right there. I mean, lost the fight, took three deaths up there. So, I mean, you kind of, oh, final slash comes out as we're talking about. Caro in trouble there. Had the frigid glacier out there as well. Soda claims a death there. Oh, beginnings gets found out itself in harm's way. And now both teams able to kind of find a little bit of a advantage there. Final slash comes out on the kazoo. Here comes the phantom steed. Turtle down to about mm -hmm. half health and oh, pulled reset out again. again. <laughs> Oh, this is going to get... Wow, I can't imagine the Lord fight at this point, right? This is going to get really <laughs> tricky, though. Wow, nice tug in onto Soda, though. Yeah, and a big pop-up onto the rest of Twisted Minds. Mauro finds a kill on to begin. Turtle down to about 5% health. Mike running for his life. Is he going to be able to create that distance? He's looking for He's got oh. a little bit of that shield and gets taken down by Kazoo. Uh, that might be part of the uh, the frustration now for Twisted Minds when it comes to trying to get that final slash. Oh, as mm -hmm. I talk about that, Flicker into a yeah. final slash. Begins able to get out of there, but it doesn't look like Kazoo. Oh, Ooh, I speak again. Is he? he is able to get out of there, followed by the healing from Koro on that Minotaur or able to top him up and uh, give him a little bit of an escape there. But this is going to be a, a po possibly a turtle for the side of Twisted Minds. Nope, uh, let's speak again. S2G coming in here, the aggression. Uh, I'm not even sure who that turtle actually went to, but oh, the actually fight to Twisted Minds. Blazing Duet is out. Mauro finds a kill on Nakaro. Kazoo finds Mauro and Sanu with his first kill of the game. Uh, now two kills uh, on to S2G. <laughs> They're going to be starting up this Lord. Yeah, they have the advantage, so they want to kind of keep it here. But as you can see, S2G, as soon as the Lord spawns, I want to say great presence of mind. Oh, we oh, do have no. Phantom Steve Maro. out there. Morrow does use that flicker. Fa Final Slash is out, and a big pop-up land. Soda finds a kill onto Karo, the roam of S2G. And that's going to go ahead and back up the rest of S2G as Twisted Minds looking to get a free Lord. But you can see S2G down a player, but still aggressive, trying to make sure that they have their presence felt here, making them wonder, especially like, we were talking about you cannot take this lord too far onto the side down at the bottom mike finds a little bit of damage onto yep. kazoo morrow in trouble up at the top and looking gets pulled in lord? by that i'm offended from lunar down to 10 percent on this lord or i don't even know i'm pretty sure twisted oh. minds gonna be able to scoop yep. that up soda with the kill Ooh, with a tiny bit of health there lunar is in trouble 10 percent health here comes the phantom steed and then that new passive from coffin does not save him mike in trouble gets taken out by kazoo and it does look like sano gonna be able to get away with the bottom side lord is gonna be marching down that side it's not the enhanced lord yet but this is gonna give the time for twisted minds to actually create a space top side mid lane they're trying to defend it and there you have it sano on a killing spree but so does cg boom he is also shredding a decent amount of damage here up against twisted minds yeah, I, I, I want to say both of these teams doing such a great job knowing the limits of their, their characters, knowing uh, and being able to protect things uh, when usual teams might have to back off and uh, and maybe give up a tower. They're still able to find even when it comes to two. And we even saw when it came to that Lord class, it was basically a 2v5, but still able to find an advantage as two G comes in. Uh, doesn't get the Lord, but is able to find some kills as well. But Sano, man, is a monster getting all over the map right now and able to take down these towers. Yeah, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if like almost 100% uh, tower damage comes from Sano here. He's already worked <laughs> on the top side, bottom side. Like, I mean, the entire map, he's already taken in a lot. And this is really good, right? He hasn't been shut down just yet by S2G. And that's something that they need to do right now before this uh, Enhanced Lord that will be spawning in the Land of Dawn real soon. Let's take a look at the items here. Oh, wow. Look at the Claude, too. Of uh, CG Boom. He has taken in the uh, Demon Under Sword and the Golden Staff. So these are the key items coming out from the Claude. So this should also be uh, a problem for Twisted Mind. I love how they're being aggressive here for S2G, right? Even though that they weren't able to take that lore, they were willing to take those fights. 
Yeah, and, and it is really amazing. And Sano is hitting at about 10k. Basically, I want to say full build when it comes to the damage that they need. Just basically a golden staff and an endless battle needed to really... Ooh, Maro with the concealed play finds a final mm -hmm. slash on the two members of S2G. They're going to go ahead and flicker their way to safety. This is the thing about Maro, right? Like, once you get that final slash and then you combine it with a Walrus Ultimate, you've seen it in the Lord class earlier, and it was actually what won Twisted Minds that objective. But right now, it's just going to be a dance between these two teams, clearing out the waves, making sure that they have the right space when it comes to this Lord take. But looking at the map here, again, the map control is going to go to Twisted Minds. They definitely have the better position here for the Lord, but we have massive CC here from S2G. If they can get that nice Minowans Rage, and then you combine it with the uh, I'm Offended of the Ruby, this will be a good type of a uh, play or an epic comeback that can come around from the side of S2G. Yeah, you see Caro coming up here in the front trying to check on the status of the Lord Cuffin in a little bit of trouble. Gets caught oh. under the tower, but they reverse Kazoo. it and Kazoo actually gets caught. Inside of Twisted Minds Private, it is going to be marching on the bottom side. So let's see how Twisted Minds will try to pressure in S2G here. But we're waiting in for the setup here of Caro with that Minotaur. Oh. Yeah, you can see the final slash came out there. And actually, now Maro takes a heap of damage underneath the turret. Caro able to find the kill on there. The Rome uh, Soda here uh, looking to press on to Lunar, who's going to go ahead and put the last touches onto that Lord. Really interesting. Oh, final slash comes out there as well. Mm -hmm. Coming in a little bit of trouble. Look at the amount of oh, CC damage. and damage coming out. Blazing Duet finds. Oh, he's not able to find Aurora. Oh. He's trying, though. Lunar finds a kill onto Mike. And a Soda and Sana go down as well. Cuffin alone. No passive on him is he going to be able to get away look at the freezing this is what i was talking about the cc from this coffin right now but it is not enough they are able to chase him down oh a wipe can he go for a straight push here okay maru is back 20 seconds for the rest they have that minion let's take a look at that replay there what happened private is that there was a massive chain cc coming out from uh the side of s2g then the blazing duet coming out from cg move onto the backside was able to shred apart the back lines here at twisted minds I like this uh, chase coming out from Guffin. There's no passive <laughs> left, and they got in that white. Oh, is this no, it? this might be it. They try for it about 10%, and that's going to be it. S2G able to turn the tables at the last moment and get themselves their first victory.